Hey guys and welcome back. So today I'm talking about my summer essentials and mainly beauty products but also a few other fashion bits as well. And this video isn't intended to be like a what you should all have when you go on holiday or like what you need in your beach bag video. It's basically like a summer favourites, an all time summer favourites video. For me, my very best, most used and most loved summer products. So. I'm going to start off with body stuff because I feel like body stuff gets the most kind of action in the summer because your body is actually out. First of all, my all-time favourite fake tan, Saint-Tropez Express, one hour tan. I do not put this on for one hour, I put it on all day and then leave it. But for me, the reason why I use this is that you can put it on for an hour or three hours if you want a dark tan um, and it will develop that quickly. But the main thing for me is the fact that it's just a really good colour and it lasts a really long time. So this one more so than the original. I don't know why, I just really, really like the Express Tan. Then I do also have a more recent discovery on the tanning front, which is the Bondi Sands Liquid Gold. This is a coconut scented oil, um, but it's not a greasy oil, it's a dry oil. It actually um, is a little bit harder to apply than the saint -Tropez because it is tinted, but because it's an oil it kind of absorbs into the skin before you can see kind of where you've put it, if that makes sense. But it is really nice, it tans really even, it gives you a beautiful kind of deep golden glow. Really like this a lot. I never thought body makeup would be like my kind of thing, really, but I've been obsessed with the Sally Hansen airbrush legs for the past couple of years. Seriously, this stuff is the best. It covers up any kind of imperfections or redness on your legs. I get really eaten alive by mosquitoes in the summer if I go abroad and they tend to come up really big and red and ugly and then I get pigmentation marks. So even if I haven't been bitten by a mosquito in the last two months, I'll still have like a red mark there where the mosquito bite was. Really annoying, but this helps to cover it up. In terms of body moisturiser, I have loved the Body Shop Body Butters for years and this year they brought out this one which is the pinita colada one it smells like a pina colada which is like my favorite favorite summer drink it smells so so yummy i've been using these on holiday for like the last 10 years and this is probably one of my favorite flavors i love it very excited about that when it comes to body spf i have been recently loving the vichy ideal soleil spray which i mentioned in my um june favorites with tarty let me see if i can actually hang on i lost it show you how fine the spray is. Super, super fine. SPF 50, really, really good. But when I am on holiday and I'm gonna be actually in the sun like all day long, <coughs> I just breathe this in and it tastes like soap. I tend to use P20, but the Factor 50 version, which is actually called P50, but it's basically like the all day sun cream. It's probably not that great for you and has some horrendous chemicals, but it's one of the only things that like I can put on and I know that I'm not gonna get burnt. So I get naked in the morning, cover myself in it, and then put my bikini on when it's dried because it does stain white bikinis as well. Watch out, like light colored things, P20 like makes them a bit yellow. Um, and then I usually put normal sun cream on over the top like throughout the day, just so that I know I've got like, I'm, I'm totally covered. I've got all bases covered. For facial sunscreen, I've spoken about this a couple of times recently. It's the Body Shop Skin Defense. So good. This stuff is amazing. It's not greasy at all. It's not thick. It's not sticky. It just literally, it feels like a serum. It just sinks into your skin. So, so good. Love this stuff. And then what else have I got going on in here? Oh, the um, Elizabeth Arden 8 Hour Cream Miracle Oil. This stuff is really good. Eight hour cream, the original one, smells a bit funky. Like, I quite like it, but it's definitely a love-hate scent. This stuff smells so nice. They haven't used the original scent. It smells really nice, it's a dry oil as well. I am not a big fan of greasy, greasy oil feeling. Some people love oil on their body. I don't normally, but this is just really smooth. It just leaves your skin feeling so soft. It's for your hair, face and body. I wouldn't use this on my face, but I definitely do use it on my body and I do use it on my hair. Moving on to makeup. The first thing is one that I've mentioned quite a bit recently too. It's the Jouer Luminizing Moisture Tint. This is a perfect summer product because it has SPF 20 in it. It's oil free, so it's not gonna leave you feeling kind of greasy and it's also gonna protect you from the sun. But it also gives you that level of coverage that is just amazing with a tan. It comes in a few different colors. I've got the blush one, which is slightly pinky, but it just leaves your skin looking plumped and juicy and glowy. You can use it as a primer under foundation. You can use it on your own, not on your own, on its own. Another one that I've mentioned in my 
May favourites is the L'Oreal Glam Bronze Cushion de Soleil. I've been using this pretty much every day since I got it. Like, I absolutely love this. The consistency of this bronzer is amazing. It's just gorgeous. I don't use the sponge um, thing in here. I use a brush and just kind of dab it into the sponge. For lip products, the one that I'm wearing at the moment is this one, which is from Tarte, and I love it. I'm only gutted that it doesn't have SPF in it. That's the one thing. It's called the Quench Lip Rescue, and the colour that I'm wearing is nude. They're mint flavoured, so they're really kind of cooling and fresh on the lips. They give a little bit of colour, a lot of gloss, and they're just like a perfect throw-on lip product for the summer when it's hot. They look really nice with kind of like basic dewy makeup, and yeah, I wish they had SPF, which is the one annoying thing. Um, for waterproof mascara, this is the last kind of product recommendation. The Too Faced Better Than Sex is so good. I don't like the original of this, which I know is kind of controversial, it's a very love-hate product, but I love the way it looks, it just doesn't stay on my lashes, it goes all over my face, um, which you really don't want in any situation, really, um, mascara all over your face, but the waterproof one is amazing, it gives you the most thick, gorgeous, bushy eyelashes you've ever seen, and it doesn't go anywhere. Sunglasses are obviously a summer essential for everybody, you should be protecting your eyes, but also like not squinting, it's just not very comfy. I've got two favourites, I actually have quite a lot of sunglasses um, at the moment and just generally in my life, so I've picked out my two favourites, one low end and one high end, just so that it gives you a bit of an idea of what I'm loving for all budgets. The, the low end ones are from Key, um, which they sell in Topshop, oh my god these are so dirty. <laughs> I can barely see out of them, they're so dirty. Um, anyway, so these are from Key, I got them from ASOS, they're like a rose gold um, club master kind of style, and I really love them, they're about £40, and they are so nice, apart from the fact being absolutely filthy, and I'm gonna clean them. I don't know if they still have them in stock, but Key do amazing sunglasses, anyway, I've got like three pairs from them, and they sell them in Topshop as well in the UK, they're so so good, and then my more premium ones are these ones from Prada, which you guys will have seen if you watched my um, haul video a couple of weeks ago, I love these and I'd wanted them for absolutely ages, I have to say, I scratched the lens at VidCon and I wanted to scream, I was so angry at myself, because they're my favourites. I've never had so many comments about a pair of sunglasses than these ones, literally everybody that sees them comments on them, most people love them as well, which is good, considering they're quite, um, they're not like controversial sunglasses, but they're quite out there, and they're quite big. I've got two pairs of shoes, um, for summertime, that so far this summer I've been obsessed with. The first ones I've had for a while, they're my white lace espadrilles that are a little bit dirty now, I need to give them a bit of a clean. On the plus side with espadrilles, you actually can clean them because they're like all material, so um, the sides are even caving in. I need to try and see if I can find some other ones. They're from River Island, they're £18, absolutely love these, they're so comfy as well. And then the other pair are a more recent acquisition from Topshop, and they look like this. I am obsessed with these, I think they look really vintage from the front especially, I wore these for Wimbledon, even though the heel is quite big, they're really really comfortable, apparently they do them in a few other colours as well, I'll link to um, the page on the Topshop website below, I haven't actually looked at it myself so I'm going to go and have a look at it and check out the other colours because I love these, I think they're just so fun for summer and silver's just a really kind of bright statement shoe, I had so many people ask me about these when I've worn them, um, and most people think that they're going to be designer, like they're genuinely shocked when they find out they're Topshop, which is always a good thing in my book. And then last, but most definitely not least, is a dress, and I think I probably had this in uh, Summer Essentials or a July Favourites or something last year, because it is my favourite summer dress, and it still is, so I'm not going to pretend that it's not, and have something else. This is from Amanda Uprichard, and this is a um, neon pink silk crossover dress. I love Amanda Uprichard's designs, for the summer I think they are the perfect summer dress, I've got two of them, they're quite expensive but in my opinion they're worth it because they're quite classic cuts, so I've got this one which is a neon pink and then I've got a red one which has sleeves and they are just so comfortable to wear, they're a really flattering shape and um, I love the bright colours that she does as well, she does do some kind of printed ones but I've only got plain ones, um, so yeah that's it for this video, I hope you guys enjoyed it, that is my summer essentials roundup, if you're not already subscribed please go and click that button, it means the absolute world if you guys subscribe and come back and see more videos, I love it, join the club, um, and yeah, I upload every Friday and Sunday, so make sure you come back for more, and I will see you again soon, bye guys!